Hi, this is Kevin Hunter. I'm the owner of Simplified Office Systems. We are a premier provider of 2D, 3D, and printing services for the state of South Carolina. Uh, we are in a unique spot because not only do we sell and service the equipment, but we actually use it every day. So the purpose of this video blog is to share a little bit of information about uh, some successes we've had, things we've done in the past. Today I'm going to talk about 3D printing in the manufacturing space. Uh, so the way I always like to start these is with some real world applications. So when we think of 3D printing, and, and I'm going to pick up a sample here, uh, often we think about small things. Small things that come out of a printer, they're very cool, they rotate, all printed at one time, 27 micron layer, all that wonderful stuff there, and you can see uh, borderline magic, but lots of fun. We also have some great detailed parts and pieces that are like these. And if you're a type A personality, this piece will drive you crazy because it's printed all at one time. So it's uh, effective, kind of like a Jacob's Ladder, but also a puzzle there. Uh, you can even uh, zoom in and see it has logos on it uh, on both the inside as well as the outside. So gives you a tremendous amount of detail. Uh, that you can work with there. So great stuff. Sorry about zooming in with the 3D stuff, no pun intended. But really in the manufacturing space, 3D printing serves a couple of roles. One is your prototypes, uh, scaled down models like you saw there. Uh, but also with some new technologies that come out, particularly from two partners that we work with, one of them is 3DP. Uh, this is a piece that was printed on a printer this will give you some scale here. This piece is about uh, 14 inches tall and it is about 5 inches uh, across in diameter there to give you an idea. Um, it's nothing other than a little twisted pattern base. Uh, you can see it gives you a nice little effect when it's spun. Uh, but also it's very strong. Uh, it can withstand uh, my total body weight which is about 240-235 pounds. Uh, I use this in speeches where I actually stand on top of it to show folks how strong this could be. So printed with a 3DP1000, it allows you to have an open source printer, uh, multiple different nozzle heads, uh, any kind of filament you have, we can run it, whether it be PLA, PETG, carbon fiber infused plastic nylons, Ninja Flexes, all kinds of fun stuff. But this is a great piece. So no longer do you have to sacrifice scale for anything. You can actually print stuff the size that you need it. So this gives you an idea. Uh, this is actually a prototype of a big O-ring for a foundry customer of mine. Uh, they were looking to do something uh, to be able to do some sand casting so they could go to their foundry and make metal parts. Uh, so they needed to be able to print big pieces. So that gives you an idea of what uh, the 3DP can do for you in that area. Also, some nice things. Also, think about uh, little casings. Uh, this is a pretty cool piece. This gives you an idea of the surface quality you can get off of this machine. I didn't remove the supports, so you'd be able to see exactly uh, kind of what it looks like when it comes off the printer. Uh, pretty neat. Uh, this was printed at a uh, using a .6 millimeter nozzle at a layer height of 0.35, so pretty good. Uh, real thin, it's about maybe a four or five millimeter thick piece, so very thin. Uh, that's where you're getting the flexibility with it. But still, pretty neat piece there. Uh, another thing that we're able to do with this fantastic printer is all kinds of, of different patterns. Uh, this is a neat one for a mesh mat. It's for a big fabric manufacturer I've got. Uh, that they want to go in and be able to print mesh patterns. They actually do this with some flame retardant materials. But what they're testing is the different patterns that you can see. They're just a series of chain links uh, that are all woven together there. So the 3DP platform uh, allowed us to end up printing one of these that uh, ended up being extremely large. It was about two feet, uh, two feet square only about a half inch thick, so not very thick, but about a, a two inch uh, square piece that was pretty neat to work with. And then also with the 3DP, some of the new stuff, it's, it, 
innovation in the 3D world is, yes, it's coming from some of the hardware manufacturers, but it's also more about the material. Uh, so this material is actually a nylon hybrid. Uh, it's referred to as a couple of different names, but the guys and gals that invented it called it Ninja Flex. So it is an extremely flexible material uh, that allows you to go up to 10 times its normal size, and then it snaps right back. Now, neat for printing cool little toys and projects, but that's not where I focus my attention, particularly on manufacturing. It can help you emulate latex parts. So let's say you needed a buffer or a bumper on top of this big piece. Well, why not print this in a PLA and then print a nice old buffer on top that's out of your Ninja Flex. That way you got a rubber gasket, a bumper, whatever, whatever you may need for that particular application you'd have the ability to work with. So that gives you an idea of one area with the 3DP platform. But then another one I really wanted to talk to you about as well is uh, some metal printing. So metal printing is not new. Been around about six, seven years now. Uh, really has come a long way. But the biggest obstacle for folks getting into metal printing has nothing to do with anything other than one obstacle. And it's a big one. Uh, it's cost. Uh, metal printing has a price tag 200000 up to 800000 uh, so what we've done is we kept our ear to the ground and we found a, a great company called Mark Forge. Uh, and what it allows us to do is to ask the question, do you need metal parts because you need metal parts? Or do you need metal parts because of a specific application that needs the strength of metal? So that last question is what it's all about. Do you need metal parts or do you need parts that give you the strength of metal. So if your answer is I simply need the strength of metal, then hey, you're in business. Uh, for under 7,000 bucks, you can get a desktop printer that prints in carbon fiber infused nylon. So this is their proprietary material called Onyx. Very strong in the direction that we're printing. I can also print it to where it can be flexible as well. So a very unique material that gives me some tremendous salient characteristics. That same printer also allows me to go in and, and fill up a bed plate that's about nine cubic inches, but I can do things like this awesome part. So it's printed in three separate pieces. It's a ball joint. So here's my base piece. My coupling goes in. I can have a metal rod coming out. And now my cap goes over the top. So this piece is printed in base nylon with carbon fiber infused in it. This piece gives you the exact strength, if not more, than aluminum. The difference being the cost of the printer is under $8,000. The cost of the part is less than one-tenth the cost of printing in metal. So tremendous flexibility there. The last piece I have to show you is actually using a very similar technique. It's the nylon, but it's actually infused with Kevlar. Now, doesn't make it bulletproof, but it does make it awful strong and very, very light. So in the manufacturing space, it's not just about prototypes. It's not just about scaled down models. It's not just about fancy things that look really cool and can only be done in 3D. Now with the advent of products from people like Mark Forged and 3D, 3DP Platform, we have the ability to print in full scale metal-like structures without having to pay exorbitant prices. We don't have those barriers to entry to get involved in this space. So we definitely encourage you to take the time to get to know this technology and let us know what we can do for you. Uh, at SOS, we take pride in keeping things very simple. We support our customers from the research all the way through to the acquisition, as well as the implementation phase and the ongoing support when it comes to 3D technology. I do appreciate you taking a few minutes to check out our video. Uh, you can learn more about us by visiting SOS.Works or you can call us directly at 888-914-7476. And we look forward to hearing from you and learning more about what 3D printing from SOS can do for your business. Thanks.